let's look at this question where you have an additional complexity added to it. In how many ways can the letters of combine be arranged such that C and I are the letters in the extreme position? So if you see this, none of the letters are repeating, okay? C, O, M, B, I, N, E, all the letters are occurring once. So how many letters I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 letters. Right? The first question I am doing, the C and E are the letters at the extreme positions, right? So I can have C here and I here or be careful here, right? I can be here and C can be here, right? They are just saying that they are extreme positions. I don't know where C is and where I is. Do not just stick to one of these two conditions and get the half answer of it, right? So now if C and I are here, right? How many options do I have for this blank? I cannot use C and I. I can use O, M, B, N, E. That's five options. Four, three, two, one. Five into four into three into two into one is five factorial for this case. Similarly, I is fixed here, C is fixed here. So I have five options, four options, three, two, one. Again, five factorial. So the answer will be five factorial plus five factorial. Five factorial is 120. So plus 120 is 240 is the number of, uh, you know, words I can make for this. The important point is to figure out both these cases exist and that's how you do when first and the last place are fixed, I don't touch them. So I only can play around with the remaining blanks. That's why I only have five factorial, not seven factorial. That's something you have to understand. Now let's look at the next question. It says all the vowels are together. You know, things like when some letters have to be together, some letters would not be together. Like that's the third question. We'll first solve the together part. So what are the vowels in this? O, I and E. So whatever the letters that I want to be together, I assume them to be one new letter, let's say called alpha. So what are the letters I have C, alpha, M, B and N. So we had seven letters because these three have pulled into one. I should be having five letters. One, two, three, four, five. So that means I have five blanks. I can, you know, play around with this so that they fit in these five blanks. So five options, four options, three, two and one. That's basically five factorial ways. See, the answer does not end here. That's why you have to be careful. Why? Let me show this, right? What am I talking about is 5, 4, 3, 2, and one of the arrangement can be alpha comes here, C comes here, M comes here, B comes here, and N comes here. This is one case counted in this 5 factorial. But understand this, what is alpha? O, I, E together. But it could be that I have O, I, E, C, M, B, N. Or I can have O, E, I, C, M, B, N. Or I can have I, E, O, C, M, B, N and etc etc i can you know give actually six three more cases but understand this all of this is alpha right i just said alpha is o i e together the sequence could be anything in between them so alpha c m b n is only counted as one thing in this five factorial but actually i can have many more because these letters within alpha can also arrange themselves so what should i do into within alpha there are three letters so it's like again i have three blanks o i e so i I have O, I, E here, so three options, then I'll be having two options and one option that is three factorial. So it is five factor into three factorial is the answer for this, right? The step is when some things needs to be together, take all of them as one new alphabet. Now give that, replace that and, you know, arrange this in five factorial ways. Don't stop there into within that alphabet that I've assumed, see how many letters are clubbed together and arrange them in what are the factorial ways and write the answer. That is the thing that you need to do.